kid, I used to love building blogs, but some people instead love building websites from scratch. Well, today, your host, Manal Bukhari, which is me, of course, is back on 10 Minutes of Hiding Wisdom, bringing you to you someone with a similar background who has experience building websites from scratch and has helped companies launch their products from scratch to actually the implementation phase. So if you want to start your own business and actually want to make sure it changes into reality, please take a seat. I bring to you Justin. Hi, Justin. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you doing today, Mel? I am doing well. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate you having having you as a guest. Absolutely. So, Justin, can you tell us about a little about yourself, where you're currently working, and what your role exactly is? Sure. I'm currently working at Dorvest. It's a real estate investing company which helps new investors find out-of-state properties to invest in. We... Um, I'm currently the co-founder and CTO there, so I've helped build the engineering team and have kind of structured how we're going to build the code with the different products that we attack and how we um, prioritize which ones to build and what to build next. And how's that going? With the pandemic and everything, have you realized that it's been much slower? Has that helped you? Because for some businesses, it always goes different ways. So how's the, how has the pandemic exactly affected your business? We've been on the luckier side with that. When people are buying real estate out of state, sometimes they're shy and they want to go see the property and they want to fly to these different states to to actually like a step foot on the ground. But with the pandemic, people are more open to seeing virtual tours and being more comfortable just buying the entire property online, sight unseen. So that's the kind of business we want to build for the future where people can go to like our website and buy property that same day without even having to like go to the property, do the inspections. We'll do we'll take care of everything like that for you. So it's been it's been good. That sounds interesting, especially because I think buying a house, buying property is one of the hardest decisions, especially when you actually when you think you have the money and everything, but actually just flying out and everything can be so exhausting. So thank you so much for creating a product that makes it easier for consumers like us who are willing to invest into property. So Justin, you have a range of skills which involves coding to software building to website development. How did you gain so much proficiency in so many different skills? And was it just out of fun? Was it something that you were interested in? Were you measuring in it? Or was it just because you knew it would look really good on your resume? What's the story? (laughs) So, yeah, I was always obsessed with computers. I went to UC Santa Barbara to study computer science. And in my third year, I met a few great friends and we decided to start a small company. So with that, I just started learning as much as I could online, just being self-taught. And we ended up winning a small competition with that. We just dropped out of school. We're like, let's just, you know, hit the ground running and see what we can do. So that mentality of trying to learn as you go and, you know, you're never going to do anything perfect. You just start with the MVP product and keep iterating, keep building on that and keep learning new technologies. So it's something that stuck with me for a long time, where even today I'm finding new technologies to implement and better ways of doing things. It's always going to be like that. So you have to really just embrace the changes that are happening and learn the new technologies. Okay, wow. So um, you dropped out of school and everything. What company did you start? What was that company about and everything? What, ga- what co- gave you the idea that you wanted to start a company at that age? It was called One Night.me. It was a one night rental for anything you owned on campus, whether it be a vacuum cleaner or a textbook or a surfboard, things that you wouldn't or power tool, things that you wouldn't normally buy because you just need to use it for one night. So we started a company and people were like sharing different things that they had on campus. <laughs> And we just took that momentum and decided to like see how big, far we could take this thing. Wow. Okay. And did it actually did it work out well? Was it actually like there was there a lot of hype regarding this? It was. We we ended up exiting very small. We um we went to a few different campuses. We were on San Jose State just passing out flyers and stuff like that. <laughs> we ended up um selling it for a little bit of money to check this textbook rental company, and that kind of kickstarted my career in computer science. Where after that, I went to several different startups. And just like started learning more and more and more. But in the end, I always wanted to, you know, I had this entrepreneurial bug where I wanted to start something new. And it was about two years ago that I met Andrew, the CEO of Dorvest. And he was all about revolutionizing passive income for everyone. You know, whether it's buying cars and renting them on Turo and get around or buying real estate. So I shadowed one of his real estate purchases. And in that, I learned how complicated and kind of like scary, intimidating real estate purchasing is. And it kind of turned me off to real estate. And that's when it kind of clicked that we can demystify and simplify this for the average Joe to like be able to confidently invest in real estate, whether it be out of state or in state. Well, okay. As in like dropping out of high school, starting your own company, 
working now being a co-founder of a company that's revolutionizing how you buy the real estate process definitely very admiring i'm definitely admiring you that's actually quite inspiring for a lot of us because usually when we're born and everything our parents have this route set up for us where you have to go to school Yes. If as in like where I'm from in Pakistan, if you're a girl, they're usually like, oh, you're going to be a doctor. If you're a guy, they're like, oh, you're going to be an engineer. Yeah. engineer. So I think it's very yeah. inspiring to see how people are actually like just pursuing their dreams and doing what they think is best. So that's definitely very inspiring. So yeah, I actually yeah, just to ahead. clarify, I jumped out of college um, to start this thing. So I was in my third year of college. What were you majoring in? computer science okay computer yeah, science but, yeah i have indian parents too and they were not thrilled with the idea oh really <laughs> so I kinda, yeah yeah i had to you know i'm used to kind of like standing up to them like telling them like you know this is the way i want to like kind of run things and i and i and like you can trust me i'm gonna do the right thing so it, it was a hard you know few conversations how long did it take you me. for them to get on board where they're like okay son we are with you <laughs> i asked for forgiveness instead of permission so i kind of like kind of went along and just did it and then i told them what you know what i had done and then i was like but like you know i i spun in such a positive way that you know they supported me the whole way i mean it worked out well you're a co-founder now so they must be really happy now <laughs> yeah happy. and um are, do you have any siblings who are on the same route or as in like are you the only kid who was like oh i want to do this and everything i have a younger brother he um He's a he was a car mechanic. Then he decided to uproot his life, move to San Diego, live on a boat, and become a boat mechanic. Yeah. So, slightly different life, but equally enjoyable. That that sounds fun. That sounds a lot of fun, especially yeah. because San Diego is gorgeous. So that must Absolutely. be really nice. So yeah. just um, so Justin, um, you as in like if someone, for example, is applying to your company for a role, and um, you are sitting on the panel and everything. What is one thing? For for example, if it's an engineering role, what is one thing that you would recommend people doing when applying for engineering roles that would make them stand out? And you're just like, okay, I want this person on my company. Uh, can you maybe elaborate on that? Because there's so many engineers out there who are currently unemployed due to the pandemic and everything. And we just want to make sure that people have so much advice that they can mm-hmm. like actually like use when applying for jobs at companies. Absolutely. Um I think one important thing, the first thing that comes to mind is aligning yourself with the mission of the company, like figure out what problem the company is trying to solve and how it relates to you and share, be candid about that and share how the company, like what the product is and what, how it affected you and like how you can improve on it and like why you really vibe with the, the whole aura of the company. So I think, you know, we want to hire people who are inspired by what we do so that, you know, the whole company goes. I think that's one thing. For engineering in particular, I think like one thing that comes to mind is when we're doing technical interviews, the candidate often shares their screen with me, whether they're showing off code or their project or whatever. And I'm very interested to see how they interact with their own computer, like how efficient and productive are they with their own system? For example, like if they use their keyboard shortcuts or not, like are they actually moving their mouse to the refresh button? And like, or are they like even worse going to edit and then copy and edit and then paste? Like, I want to see how efficient you are at your own system to show that, you know, you are, you can make efficiencies everywhere, like including in the business. So that comes to mind. Never really Uh, thought of that, especially because when you're actually sharing your screen and everything, you're just like, I need to get this right. So it's never (laughs) what goes behind the process. So that's very insightful. But you were going to add something. Go ahead, please. Um, This might be more general than engineering, but when you're like in today's world where everyone's doing Zoom interviews, it's hard to make a connection with the interviewer. So like, I think one way to make a genuine connection is to make eye contact with the person. And this is not easy to do when you're looking down at their face or over to your side (laughs) screen or like whatever. So one trick I do for that is I will make the zoom window much smaller and put it in the top center of the screen so that you're looking basically right below the camera. So it looks like you're making eye contact, but you can still see the person and react to their expressions and things like that, which makes it, you know, much easier to like make that connection. Wow. Okay. I'll definitely keep that in mind for future interviews as well, because I never really thought, because I assumed that when I look at the like camera and everything, the eye contact is there, but never really would have thought that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. And how, as in like, uh, where are you currently at your company? Like, what are you guys working on? Anything exciting that people would want to work on with you and everything? Let me know. So maybe I could like give you a shout out so people can actually like start applying to jobs at your company, for instance. Absolutely. So, 
we're we're about one year in. We're almost at 20 people now. And we're trying to take every single step of the real estate process and bring it in-house, whether it's coming up with Dorvis Mortgage as a, like a sub-company or Dorvis Title and Escrow or Dorvis Home Insurance. We want to have a one-stop shop, one platform where you can see exactly where you are in this long, confusing process and make it as simple as possible for you. So we have all these big ideas that we're coming together to build and we could use, you know, use the help. So <laughs> always apply for us. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much, Justin. It was absolutely amazing speaking w- with you and understanding how you're making the real estate process so much easier for consumers. And if you guys want to apply to DoorWest and just like, because you're interested in their company and their mission, you can reach out to me and, or you can reach out to Justin directly. But other than that, this is your host, Spinal Bukhari signing off. And it was a lovely day with you guys again today. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you.